Yeah, a number of local and state representatives gathering here downtown today to talk about Karina's bill. And I'll tell you more about why it's called that in just a second. Right now, in Illinois, if someone files an order of protection, there is no clear process for getting a gun out of a home and essentially out of the hands of an abuser. This bill would give authorities the green light to remove a gun within 48 hours of a protection order being issued. Now, it's named after Karina Gonzalez and her daughter, Daniela, who were both shot and killed last July by Karina's husband, in spite of having that order of protection. Karina's son, Manny, was also shot in that altercation, but he survived. Karina's cousin, Monica, spoke today about the family's pain. She always kept her spirits up and found a way to persevere. If you ask me, she was a warrior. And I just wish she knew just how loved she was and how we miss her terribly. I say this as somebody who lost a mother a few years ago. And I think about Manny, and he doesn't know this, but I think about him often. And grief and trauma and how the waves come and go, and how sometimes you might smile, and the next second you might just be breaking inside and on the outside. Now, among the statistics we hear here today is that the risk of homicide at the hands of a partner increases 500% when that abuser has access to a gun. Advocates tried to get this passed last May. It did not clear the Senate, but they're hoping it does move forward in the spring session. We're live downtown from Tumulty, WGN News.